you know, just an average day for me in sport mode. <laughs> Same old average weapons, but I feel like these weapons could be better, you know, and you could have like more weapons, but uh, I gotta wait for more updates if I want more weapons to come. <sighs> if only I could get new weapons. <gasps> wait, I know just the guy I can go to for new weapons. Blacksmith! What? Oh. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Craft me up a new weapon, will ya? Alright, fine. Here you go. Alright, the blacksmith just hooked me up with a pretty sick looking weapon. It seems to be a more of a whip katana. This thing right here seems quite promising. As if there's an enemy walking up, you can just whip and whip him with the katana. So let's test it out on this enemy right here. We're gonna get nice and lined and whip all right, get a feather hit him. There we go. Got your arm. I want to see if I can go for the legs. Come on. There we go. Got the legs and it's dead. All right, let's see if I can get this thing into a nice little helicopter. There we go. There we go. Got your head. And knock you down and you're dead. All right, pretty decent weapon. Now, will I recommend this weapon over the normal katana? Well, no. The katana is much, much more reliable. The katana is able to just efficiently just chop heads left and right, left and right. And also it's got the added bonus of throwing too, so you can just throw it and it basically just lands on the head like 50% of the time you throw it. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this weapon. I'm bored of it now, so just get out of here. Yo, Blacksmith! Ugh, what now? Could you make me another weapon, please? I'm kinda bored of the one you gave me. Alright, fine, here, take this. I'm gonna leave me alone, will ya? Alright, alright, I'll leave you alone. Alright, the blacksmith gave me another weapon, and it's one I like to call the Double Double Hatchet. It's got two hatchets, two katanas, two modes of attack, and two sides. So we're gonna start off with the hatchet side of this weapon, and just go ahead and boop. There we go. And I'm gonna hold the weapon from here, and possibly boop. Boop. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna try it from this side of the weapon, the kunai side, and just go ahead and boop. Woo! Alright. Alright, gonna line this up to get both of the kunais to attack. Alright. And then also, you can probably just like, do this as a weapon, this isn't very practical. But let's see if it does anything. Oh! So this has pretty good design, of pretty good execution. Would I rate this weapon above the hatchet and the kunai? Maybe. Maybe. It's quite stiff competition between both of these weapons. As the hatchet and the kunai are much more smaller and nimble. Or this one has just all of them combined into a bigger, larger package. So, I don't know. Both of these seem to serve the same purpose, and this one has both of their purposes combined. So it's much more of a generalist weapon. Anyways, I'm bored of this weapon. Let's go visit the blacksmith again. I'm sure you will be happy to see me. Hey, blacksmith, it's me again. Oh, what now? Well, I kind of got bored of that weapon, too. You've got to be kidding me. So, could you make me one last final weapon, please? Alright, fine. Then, you'll leave me alone? Right? Yes. Alright, here, take this. Now go away! Alright, I managed to get another weapon out of the blacksmith, and that weapon is... The Spear! Now, the Spear is a weapon that could possibly come in a future update in sport mode. But for now, we're just gonna have to stick with this Spear right here. Starting out, it's got a really nice stab function right here. We can just repeatedly stab long range with the spear, as that was its intended purpose with one hand. And also, we can two hand stab as well for more stability. <laughs> stab. Stab. So let's test this out on some enemies. Starting off with the one hand stab, I'm just gonna go ahead and stab. Alright. Stab. Woo! There we go. Gonna go and try that again with a nice stab. <laughs> when stabbed in the back, it seems to be a one shot. One problem with this weapon is it does like to get stuck in the backs of enemies. There we go, you just have to hold a katana. Alright, let's go ahead and try out the two hand mode. And stab. There we go. Go ahead and stab. And go ahead and stab. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. I feel like. This deserves to be fought against actual enemies. Let's try two hand mode and stab. All right, you gotta kind of move with the spear. And stab, woo hoo hoo. This definitely 
is a very, very strong weapon, it seems. And go ahead and get a nice stab. <laughs> I like this weapon, a nice long range stabbing tool. Something we do not have in sport mode yet. All right, I want to try aiming for the heads this time. For the spear, it might be a bit difficult, especially since I'm one-handing it. I don't know, just get a nice stab. Oh, there we go. You gotta kind of grab the kunai once you get off your spear. There we go, and get a nice stab. <laughs> this weapon right here truly is the best of the three. Oh, you're tripping up on this hard ground. Well, too bad for you. Overall, this weapon right here has very good design and very good execution. And it is easily better than both the kunai and the bat. This weapon might earn itself a good place in A tier, as it is an excellent long range stabbing device. I like this weapon, I really do. But you know, I think I can hustle one more weapon out of the blacksmith. Hey, blacksmith. Alright, that's it. I've had it. I'm taking it down.